Hey J Team, sorry I um, my one video I was making. Um, I was making a part three video and my uh, phone storage filled up and that video never came out so this will be part three. So in part three what I did is I checked out the upper screen here and um, the screen itself and the ribbon cable and all that was fine. So um, the uh, next thing to do with this DS that I believe may be the actual issue I'm just going to take some Pepsi here um, is the screen uh, connector right here that's the upper screen connector I believe that may be damaged there might be a few pins that are bent or something like that um, so before what was happening with this DS is the screen would flash the bottom screen would flash the upper screen would do nothing so what that means is that the main board has detected that the upper screen is not responding and giving out that error saying it's unable to turn on due to the upper screen not working. Well, the upper screen's not working due to something on the main board. So that's why I'm going to diagnose and try to repair. So this is a try to fix video. Um, part 1, 2, and 3 is also um, try to fix. Um, so, um, as I was saying in um, one of my videos, um, I'm very highly interested in uh, broken Nintendo Switch tablets, the consoles, and the Joy-Cons, whether they're cracked screen, uh, slightly bent frame, uh, water damaged or any kind of liquid damage um, and of course same thing with the accessories and other type of controllers and docking stations stuff like that um, so if you guys have anything I'm very highly interested in collecting the Nintendo switches whether they're broken or water damaged um, you know and uh, I don't really want to pay a real big amount of money for them, but I will pay a little bit. So yeah, or if you just want to ship um, the Nintendo Switch to me for me to make um, for a video, you want to donate the Nintendo Switch to me where I can keep it. You just want me to make a video trying to repair it. You can do that too. Um, just shoot me up in a comment and then I can let you know. Um, the address to where you um, ship it to what my address is and stuff like that so yeah let me know in the comments down below um, whether you have a switch or not so a Nintendo switch tablet uh, Joy-Cons accessories stuff like that whether it's broken screen cracked um, frame cracked joystick water damage or liquid damage some sort um, yeah so anyway so if you're new to my channel please subscribe um, if you like the video click on the thumbs up uh, click on the bell down below so you get my new upcoming videos and uh, new notifications all that stuff all right so um, let's get on to working on this nintendo ds light so let me get my big nice big um, eyeglass here or um, magnifying glass. I'm gonna have a look at the connector. You know this is very strange. So I'm looking through the magnifying glass you guys and I see zero zero bent pins. But what I do see is a little bit of dirt and stuff inside the um, connector and that most likely is the culprit of why this thing is not connecting to the uh, docking or the station sorry connecting to the upper screen so what I'm gonna do is this little connector right here um, this connector here is our upper screen one I'm gonna get some isopropyl alcohol and clean that inside because there's some dirt inside there and I'm just gonna clean that out
So in the Tupperware here, I have 99% isopropyl alcohol. So I'm not going to soak the whole board. I'm just going to clean that one connector. So I'm sorry if the video disconnected or whatever happened there. Um, got some brand new toothbrushes for cleaning. Cleaning board right here. Yeah, so every time I make a video here, what happens is it saves the gallery, photo gallery, and that takes up storage space, and then it'll give issues there, and it'll cut me out of my videos and stuff um, when the storage gets too full. That's why I want to have a phone that has better built-in internal storage, um, so I can, you know, make longer videos. I don't mind making part one, two, and threes and stuff like that, but, you know, so, all right. So I'm just going to take some IPA here, flip up this little latch, I'm going to hold it with my finger so it doesn't get broke off, and all I'm doing is I'm cleaning up that little connector, and then I'll take the magnifying glass and have a look in there, sorry, I'm out of the frame again and right in there and there's definitely dirt coming out you know I think this DS is gonna work after this so I can actually see in there a little bit without the magnifying glass but not all the way so I'm just gonna I wouldn't be surprised if this DS at one time was water damaged during the how rough a condition it was originally in when I got it. Um, but yeah, a dollar fifty, you guys, is what it cost me for this one. Just that little cleaning, I believe, fixed this DS. Because I saw a bunch of dirt come out, and I cleaned it till there was no more dirt coming out. So, get this out of the frame here. Just the alcohol cleaner. Um, take my magnifying glass and have a look in there. Yep, there's no dirt in there anymore. And there was. Right in the back of this right in the back of this connector right here this white connector and right in the back here looking through the slot in the back with my megaphone glass i can see at the very back there's some dirt in there and it was covering the little connections in there a bit so that probably was the culprit causing the upper screen my replacement screen i put in to not work so let's see if i just fixed a ds that was totally smashed that i took the only thing I could recover out of this other DS here, this DS here is the one I got for $1.50. The only thing I could recover out of the whole thing that wasn't destroyed was this main board and the main board and this upper, upper case. Besides that, everything else is destroyed. So... And to replace the upper screen and the shell and stuff like that. And of course the pen and game. And this piece cost me zero dollars, you guys. Because I got this other DS that I had. I have a, a drawer of DS graveyard parts that are ones that I tested and recovered. And... Um, I had a drawer for broken parts that I could pull parts off of and a drawer for good stuff. So that's where the drawer with good stuff is where I got the casing of this, this nice DS. 
and the upper and bottom screen. So this is the original main board of the destroyed $1.50 DX. Okay, so you know I'm taking a really good look at the DS. This is main board, and it actually looks really good. Doesn't look like there's any um, broken parts on the um, on there. So um, and something to note about these DSs, the original DS and the newer DS Lite, if the upper screen gets snapped right off and it's missing, as long as the DS was set to the bottom screen being uh, GBA, like Game Boy Advance, being set to bottom screen, if that upper screen is missing and it's set to that, um, you could plug, as long as you haven't taken the battery out, because that will erase all that safe stuff, and it will go back to factory settings, as the GBA being, being the upper screen. So as long as you haven't taken the battery out of your DS and it's still with the original saved settings and it's set the GBA game set to the bottom screen with the missing screen as long as you have your Game Boy Advance game plugged in you can still use it for a Game Boy. Okay? So literally you just need the main board and um, with a good um, bottom screen and uh, yeah, so um, now what I want to do before I put this all the way together is I want to put my um, display, upper display back inside the, um, to the front housing. So, so the housing here. I want to put the screen onto that. So, yeah. And this is the part that sort of gets to me a little bit because this is the delicate part because I have to feed the screen the screen ribbon through the actual side of the DS and I'm trying to see uh, now I see it okay um, oh yes okay there it is can I see that okay, there we go I got it through so you got there's a little slot in here and you got to feed it sideways like this sideways and then it goes in and comes out straight without ripping oh, thank goodness I got that through nice okay all right so now now I got to put my hinge back on of course a little white piece here popped out on me I'm gonna put that back in let me make sure it's in the right way oh, this is Part is not gonna sit on. No, there we go. And I'm gonna double make sure that it clicks properly. If you open your DS and when you if you're closing your DS and it goes click click when it closes, your hinge isn't set right or it's broken. One of the two. What I mean by hinge is that little mechanical plastic metal piece in the side here, not the actual plastic part. So this should click when I open it. Yep, made a little click. Now if it doesn't close, click when it closes, perfect. So it's good. I got her. So, get my screws back in. And the screws for the hinge, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. That's a screw for the hinge, a nice long one, two long ones like that. Don't be afraid, when you're watching my videos, don't be afraid to rewind the video to a part and pause it when you need to see a certain thing and look at it long enough. Don't be afraid to do that. It's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I also want to thank the two new subscribers. Um, 
Between the su subscribers that subscribe to my channel, uh, welcome to the J team. Um, means a lot to have you guys and gals here. Hopefully I um, help you out with uh, fix with the fix videos here, or trying to fix, but this one's an actual fix because I'm very, very um, hopeful on this. I'm pretty sure this DS is going to work once I get it together. And uh, if you watch my first video, um, you'll be able to see the DS when it's all originally where I show you the, the flashing and the issues that it had and everything. Um, oh, okay. Just trying to make sure I get the buttons in the right area. There's that one. Our B button. <laughs> oh, they're being a pain for me to pick. There we go. Finally got it. Picking these buttons up is hard, you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the buttons back into place. So this DS is going to work. Um, now that I did all the diagnostics and all that and the repair. I'm just trying to... Hmm. Which... Oh, no wonder. Let's try that. Uh, Okay, I find that a little, a little bit strange, um, how, I don't understand this, why is the, okay, the Y button should be at the top, hmm, okay, where's that, this is the right one, right, yeah. let's open this up, I want to see something here, X, Y, B, they, oh no, that's right. Okay. I was looking at it the wrong way, you guys. I was looking at the letters because it's usually uh, X, Y. Or um, I'm thinking of the PlayStation 3 remotes. So I'm thinking of the wrong kind of remotes, the way they're laid out. So, anyway. Everything is all good. So we're just going to get all these parts. Alright, so I got all the little pieces in there. So, now it's the moment of truth. So what I have to do, you guys, is I have to um, get the touchscreen back on the main board. I'm just going to connect it. Um, as you can see here, there's a connector right in the part right here, and I just line it up. Come on. Line up the main board. I'm going to line it right up into there. There we go. Then I take my little flathead screwdriver and push up on the two side tabs on the ribbon. Push it all the way up to the plastic. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. So it doesn't... Because if you don't have it plugged in all the way, the ribbon cable, then that causes a, a non-functioning... Um, non-functional DS light. Or any kind of DS will be non-functioning that way. Um, there we go. So now, now the upper screen there is plugged in, or bottom screen is plugged in to the touch screen nicely. And I'm going to flip it over to that little tiny ribbon cable, and I really, really hope I can get that back in. I'm certain I can. Of course, this little ribbon's gonna be a bit of a pain to get back in place. 
These little ribbon cables are always a pain to get back in place. Every time I've done this with these little ribbon cables with other electronics that I've had to do on like phones and stuff, they've always been a problem trying to get them in place. But if you take your time, like what I'm doing here, I'm just taking my good time and lining it up and I'm certain I can eventually get in this little latch though keeps popping the, um, down on me as I'm trying to if you guys can't sorry if you guys can't see me plugging in the uh, um, little ribbon cable just Oh man, this is the part that's going to be the hardest part out of everything. It's getting this dang little ribbon cable back in. Come on. Man, it keeps pushing this stupid little latch. Damn latch, stop. Okay, finally got it, you guys. See right there in the corner? In the corner right there, you see that little ribbon cable? I finally pushed it in. It's so fine. I finally got it. So, I can sort of give you an idea of what this DS was doing when it, on video number one. So, picture the screen, upper, just think of the screen on the DS with it all together but as a bottom screen, when it turns on, watch a bottom screen. Oh, why isn't it, why is the bottom screen not lighting up now? Hmm. That's weird. Okay, that's not supposed to do that. Come on, flash. Okay, we got a problem, you guys. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, there's further issues, you guys. So now, the bottom screen is supposed to flash. Just let me work on it here a few, and I'll try to get it to do its thing here. Yeah, it's definitely plugged in all the way. Maybe, um... Try it again and see if it does it. Okay guys, let's just see if we can make it sing now. Hmm. Why? Oh, I think I know why. The little modem piece here has to be plugged in. There we go. I think 